arts and crafts always handmade. In PNG, the skills developed over centuries continue to be passed on. It has allowed many Papua New Guineans to produce things like necklaces, armbands, and other artifacts, which are sold in towns and cities. Michael Gunn says most of the crafts sold a good revenue earners, but they need markets. For those engaged in this business, tend to sell their produces at an affordable price. Plant the old family blue, old crabs blue, blue, blue. Uh, They are very expensive to sell. Because since the Papua New Guinea, people are not aware of making some money now, and people are selling a little price. That was uh, outside market, then by the car was in America. One block of this work, I'm coming here, and by one that close to 1,000 plus. Dan also emphasized the need for the Tourism Promotion Authority to look into this vital business that has the potential to lure more tourists into the country. He adds that small to medium enterprises in PNG can also be boosted, thus helping most Papua New Guineans earn an honest living. So government must look, look more long, uh, online long, Tourism Promotion Authority must look, look more now, making something here. Gan says the rise of law and order problems in Medellin are also another factor affecting people like him who depend largely on the sale of their arts and crafts. Adding maintaining law and order in the province is one way of encouraging more tourists into Medellin. And by bringing plenty of investors or tourists coming to Medellin. Medellin is a national place. Masaluvis National MTV News, Medellin.